We're gonna meet friends! It's kind of a point of no return drop down there, isn't there? Is that, is that gonna be death? Hmm. Nope, it still hasn't moved. No news is good news. Blast, I think my tea has gotten cold. Gotta keep exploring. This world of ours is filled with mysterious... Hmm. Nope. What you looking at? Whee! <sighs> it's like worrying to see Frederick's like skull silhouette. Hey, can you come over here and catch me? Help. Please? Please? <laughs> What are these deals? What are these guys' deals? They wear little hoods? It doesn't seem to be the mask people. It seems to be like a different faction. Or something. And get over there via here. I think that might be the trick. I maybe want to keep poking around up here before I jump down. We came from the far right, but there might be more over here. The Sleepless Sea. I'm not going anywhere from here. Hark! Who goes there? Use your eyes, boar. He wears no mask. Yes. But could this be a clever ploy? It is not po possible to make an unmasked boar from... Is it? Is it not possible to make an unmasked boar from a masked one? Aren't you wearing a mask? Technically, in a helmet form? Shall we invite him up for a closer look? Perhaps he can be trusted at least this much. Ah, he let me in. Sup? Hmm. Looks a bit unsavory. Spent too much time in the wrong s with the wrong sort, eh? Lucky for you, you match the description sent down by m the esteemed Mr. Va Varaha. Oh, so he knew about th this place. Well, yeah, oh yeah, Varaha's the purple guy, right? Then you come from hardy digging stock, yes? Trustworthy then, I, sp I, I suppose, hmm? I let this bore through, he has business with Archer. Hmm. No more talking? Okay, so these guys are not allied with the mask people. Even before we were freed, the White Cloaks took great pains to tell us of their past. Not just of themselves, but that of all the Tall Ones. At first, we thought they were motivated by guilt. They just wished to prove that, at one point, the Tall Ones were not the destructive terror that we knew them as. Frankly, if that was their goal, they did a terrible job, but I digress. Instead, it is my opinion that they simply wanted to pass on the record of their triumphs and mistakes and all benefits that knowledge brings. Their obvious dedication to the task of teaching us these histories is what motivated me. From piglethood through today, to become a chronicler of our struggles and our failures. The knowledge of the past mustn't die with us. So you guys are the people that write stuff down. You also have a uniform. Toma and Matson constantly monitor the gateway to the Dark Sun's chamber. Inside these walls, there, are pr there is priceless knowledge. We toil away to keep it safe. I wonder if any boar will thank us for it someday. The outside world seems absorbed in its own troubles, profit and progress. I wonder if they left time for reflection and curiosity. Oh, there's something down here. It's probably the way to go next, I guess. We have quite a life, but vigilance is needed. Strange folk have been around of late. Masks and robes that look like the cultists of old. St stirring of the waves in the night. The chill of the air. 
We are on the brink. Oh, yep, it works. Oh, but it's just death. It's just a trap. It's a death hole of trap. What? Who's this goof over here? Is it a weasel or something? These are just entirely different species. I guess we had the moles before. Chapter 1. It is hard to say what exactly things were like in the very beginning. Though we agree that Borkind was attended to by the White Cloaks before we called them by that name. At some point we became aware of each other and grew social like our White Cloak, att cloak attendants. The greatest among us was Buta, who became aware of something else, our captivity. As time went on, Buta became our de facto leader and befriended the White Cloaks, who were always eager to talk with us. I think he intended to bargain for our freedom eventually, but in the end he didn't have to. They became aware of- they became conscious enough that they were, knew that they were captives and wanted to do something about that. Hello. Those look like codes or something, almost. What's up? Oh, that's Archer. Ah! The intrepid boar appears, exactly on time. Though I was hoping you'd be a bit more fearsome, Varaha spoke highly of you when he wasn't sleeping anyway. I take it you've known Varaha for a long time. No. Ah. Not exactly confidence inspiring, but Varaha hasn't led me astray yet. Of course, the stakes are a bit higher than the time he advised me on sandwich toppings. Well, perhaps brawn and fierce tusks aren't the qualities we need anyway. The keepers of the word have kept this library and its secrets safe for generations. We also guard a door sealed away across the ocean. This is a place not far from the temple. It is a place of great squalor and waste, but hidden there are some gems of knowledge. A protector of such knowledge dwells there, though he is odd. His name is Matheson. He has asked me to join his club several times, but the membership dues are exorbitant. Seek him out, see if he holds that some knowledge that we lack. Am I capable of using these ladders? Probably not, huh? Much knowledge of your kind's past is here. Protecting it has been the toil of many. There is good in the written word. Speech and oral tradition have a way of being twisted. We don't like to speak of it here, so close to the dark sun. I hate to say it, but written word is plenty good at being twisted, too. Disagreement between chroniclers and shamans became hateful to the point of violence. The shamans grew bold. They frequently headed to the surface, capturing tall ones and subjecting them to unspoken atrocities in the effort to appease the Dark Sun. Okay, so yeah, humans and humans and boars coexisted for a while, and the shamans were actively like capturing and, and torturing them and whatnot, sacrificing them. The Chroniclers, on the other hand, grew meek. We retreated to a place entrusted to us by the White Cloaks, an expansive underground ocean, where we made a home for ourselves. We also, in a fantastic irony, found so-called Dark Sun. Okay, so I, I think I read that before, actually. Womp womp. Oh yeah, 50% of the lore is already cleared in for this whole zone. Oh, hang on. Yeah, this is just a quick little place. The gem and mystery parts are just dashes. Unless it's just because I haven't found one yet, but it sounds like there might not be any. I guess we'll see. It's a teleporter we can activate. Buta's Monastery. More and more of these guys going up. Come back to you later. That's my way out if I need a way out. But there might be other ones. Either way, I want to activate it when I find it so that I don't leave it unactivated. Do I want to hit the green one?
one night, or was it day? <clears throat> we had no way to know. The White Cloaks approached our room, faces as pale as their dress. We thought they meant to put an end to us, but then all but one of them left. It was their leader who, after a moment's silence, took out a pair of cutters, threw them to us, and said, Use those. Bust down this fence and run. There is only one way to go, and nobody will get in your way. The White Cloak paused at the door before leaving and spoke softly. I'm sorry. We all are. It would be years before any of us saw the White Cloaks again. I'm sorry we all are. For giving them consciousness? Can I reach these other ones at all? They're like out of my range, right? Are they sorry that they made them the way they are in the first place? Or because the world was ending or something else was happening? What were they sorry about? Now here's how I cross over. Buddha's Monastery. I know this is a, a place of rest. Buta never took sides on the issue of our history. He was old, like myself, so it wasn't a battle of rhetoric for him. He remembered the White Cloaks personally and was strong enough of character to remain sympathetic and communicative with both factions. Indeed, his involvement was instrumental in keeping our civilization from self-destructing. Upon being informed of the apparent resting place of the Dark Sun, he set out to confront it himself, convinced that the Sun whatever its nature, was the only thing that could reunite our race. He braved the tunnels outside of Budevi to gather up keys to the sun's chamber and entered it without hesitation. Buta never returned to us, and the vacuum he left behind in our society forced the chroniclers and shamans apart for good. Hmm. That's it for here. So many pillows. Who does all the sewing? Maybe grab this one first. <laughs> it's not quite there, but there's little pieces of the uh, guitar that right in this level that are reminding me of the Pixies. Dedication for holding cell 1. After years of operation, it is undeniable that Void Tap 1 has grown in size. It is remarkable that every service tech can only recall the most recent measurements. Luckily, we found some older records in a service closet. We were investigating the dark green stone we had found in there when we stumbled across some of the earlier paper records. It was funny. The writing is so dry in our old documents, none of the mystical splendor of recent writings. Not much value in writings down these in writing things down these days. Emissions from the void tap have also increased. This combined with the trouble topside has caused enough concern that the council want to move the initial units to a containment center. We don't have much evidence to support this, but the counts the council insists. In, in, in council, the council in his submerging the containment <laughs> unit will damp the emissions. Okay, there were so many typos that have had to be on purpose at some point. There were so many typos in that message. The talk, so the scientists are talking about how their old messages used to be, their old writings used to be so dry, and they aren't anymore. Weird. That's all the lore. They talk about they talk about their old messages as being too dry. And then they also don't remember their own history. They forget the stuff they wrote down before. That's worrying. There's a mask guy up there. A solitary existence that asks nothing in return. Still in darkness, there is no peace, no rest and silence here. I see you up there, punk. Come down here. Let's go. <laughs> Just 
spookily spying upon us. Yeah, this is a really short zone. Of all things, I don't think I expected there to be like a lore zone. <laughs> like an entire world dedicated to just expanding what's going on. Should be okay to go now. Will I land on the boat? Nope. Well. Was there a way to pass through somewhere around here? I've only gotten to explore like a third of the map so far, but we have all the lore bits. But how do I get down there? Oh, those doors. It says the doors lead there. Thank you. Yeah, how did I miss this door? Hmm. A final prayer. Oh, here it is. So there's every single altar, I guess, right? That I need to solve correctly. I've only done two of them so far, but now I know how to do the ones back in the the first world and or two. There's only two in Budevi. But now it finally clicked. This is kind of an ominous room, isn't it? I think you can only get out of it by rewinding. Which is disturbing in its own way, huh? It doesn't have stairs to get back out. So you just die, basically. So how do I get under this level? Oh yeah, it's down here. Here's the people. Whee! He doesn't deal well with water. Evidently. A little something better than fungus for dinner tonight? <laughs> I should be so lucky. Folks say there's wisdom in fishing. I don't put much stock in that, though. I use bait instead. <laughs> it's been all over. I've been all over, but no place is more restful than this. A little sunshine wouldn't hurt, though. A little something better than fungus... Oh, will you take me across? Archer had me ready this boat. I'll take you to the, to the lake center to see the seal. There it is. Still only at 43% of the rooms. I guess there could still be puzzles too. A seal once opened. Final prayer doesn't say there's a door, but this one does say there's a door. So I go to the final prayer when I finish every shrine, and I go to a seal once open once I finish every eye. 
That's it, right? Everything else is completed? Yeah. But here we go. There's five more eyes out there for me to solve, and, uh... Like, ten shrines? Like, a lot? But I've seen a bunch of them before, so they shouldn't be that hard to follow up on those ones, at least. I mean, I have them solved. I did the hard part, which was figuring out how to get to them. Now I just need to go back and do them again. Oh, now where we're we going? Oh, he loops back. Okay, he just doesn't turn around. All right. So this is my. This place is full of my goals. Oh. <laughs> yes, you can fall through that. So I guess that's that. Okie dokie. This place is a trip. Sleepless Seas now sits at 60% completion. For now. Let's see if we can finish off Budevi all together by just visiting the last spot and going to the next zone as a result. Is it this one? The Seat of Power. Maybe I can go talk to Purple Guy now and have some updates. Oh yeah, boar. Archer's one smart otter. That's what he is. I'd trust him to know what's going on. And that's it for now. Just been hanging out here for a while, being a giant boar with arms. Like, too many arms. Ooh. Okay, this is grim. There's a lot of skeletons, and nothing has done, been done with them. No shrouds, no, no casing. Just pick a cubby. Chirachas, I think it said. Still 97.6, where am I? I'm out of, I'm out of Budevi. Transition. Hmm, I didn't find something in there. Apparently. Oop. This is a trip. <laughs> Push you over here, I guess. Dig my way through. Yep. You can't distract me from the sweet candy of getting 100% on something finally. Oh, is this another shrine? One more. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%! Yeah! Scrapyard's the last zone. Budevi's list is last thing. It's weird because you need it to get to Sleepless Sea in the first place, and Scrapyard, technically. Interesting that they sorted it down to the bottom. Here we go. We're getting the full context of how much game is left, kind of. So that stuff was new. This is a new material. Something that when you pound, it makes it fall. Yeah. It looks different. I wonder if its properties change. This might be a big complicated thing to deal with now. It's like something layered and muddy. But you can see that the ones that I made fall are darker. Like the cracks are open. So does it just fall because I did that? Or does it enter a state where it behaves differently as a result? Hmm. Well, this is where they actually sent me to go earlier, but I uh, got busy with other things. I guess I can't climb up that, huh? 
Down we go. What is that? That thing under me. It looks like a bunch of scaffolding or something. A grid. Doesn't look like a generic scuff. It could be the concrete. It could be the metal or whatever that forms the shape of the concrete that this is, because it's all industrial. Oh, right. Hmm. Stuff, it's, it collapses from under me. So yeah, this is the new material we're dealing with. You, so you can pound on it, weirdly. It's okay to pound on it, and it won't collapse, but the moment you get off of it, it disappears. So that's the new rule set, it looks like. And it might only be in that state when it's in the opened pancake mode. Maybe? Let's double check this stuff. No, it all does that. So it's not degrading from under me like sand does the longer I stand on it. It looks like I can hang out on it for as long as I want. I can even chip at it and it won't degrade. Or I mean it will, but I mean like it won't keep degrading. What? Okay. I guess this place is just a real, in a real shitty state. Because <laughs> these are just wooden boxes and they disintegrate when you get off of them too. Oh my god, this guy. Okay. So that, that mucky stuff and those wooden crates and even this like actual like metal scaffolding all reacts the same way. It all disappears when you, when you get off of it. This is a, uh, gonna be a very subtractive chapter. So now over here, the big thing is, can I get enough of this stuff to reach that gem? And every time I interact with certain parts of it, it's going to degrade and disappear. So I feel like it's kind of obvious that I'm going to push this one off. If that seems helpful, maybe? Maybe? This is weird. I don't know what to think about this. I guess I made it. Jeez. Destructive. I guess I should have expected it to be reasonably easy. It's the first one. Hmm. But now I need to get on the right side. It's like that's the rest of the level hanging out there on the right somewhere, right? But how do I get there? That brick looks different. Is it gonna collapse? No, the brick I walked on to get here looked the same. Huh, yeah, how am I gonna leave? So I can't get up here on my own. I definitely need to push one of them over. I'm pressing backwards by one. Why is it sending me so far back? This is the best I can think of as I can push these guys. But I don't know, man.
Yeah, the, the background is not climbable. What am I... What do I not understand about this environment? Because I currently don't understand how it's possible to continue the map. Like, I have to go to this top right, right? I guess I can do this. Well, why isn't that one falling? Oh, because it's on top of scaffolding. can't push these, right? Nope, it just gets destroyed. That makes me fall. Damn it. Oh, there's the trick. I just don't climb that piece of scaffolding. I don't really care if it's the wrong word for it, by the way. Or someone comes for me. Okay. I just had to walk forward instead of holding right trigger reflexively all the time. That I, which I often do when I'm climbing over anything. Wee. And now I'm sad. Wait, I didn't need to do that. I just need to run across it. And it'll collect automatically. You don't have to collect gems in this game. As weird as that sounds. Wee. Okay. Rapid get eating. Where am I going with- oop. You guys hiding stuff over here? It looks pretty grody around here. It's really starting to feel like Mr. Driller all of a sudden. I have so many paths through this area. And really no idea what which one I should take. Oh, well, that stuff's not, You can't go through that. Does this fall? This tile? Nope. Well, I'm here. I guess the question is whether any of those paths had a secret in them or not. I won't know for a while. <laughs> Either way, I'm down here. Let's go. Well, that's like a that looks like a street, doesn't it? Mold Town City Limit Population eighty two thousand. Oh, that's not the uh, that's not a current name. What does it say? Santa Rosa? Does it say Santa Rosa? Maybe? It might be Santa Rosa. And there's a door up here. But I can't get up there, what am I gonna do? Help me! Hmm. One way path? Maybe. Is it time to meet a whole new faction again? Hey buddy! Oh, they're cute. All right, well, here we are.